B, double B, C, K, C, K, C, H, Q, C, H, T, C, H, D, double D, F, double F, P, H, G, double G. What am I looking for when I'm, first of all, well done, because it was quite hard. If I just explain to the teachers, because these tracks were going on iTunes and so on, that there's more than one skill in the track. So one, okay? So number two, so you can go first this time. Can you just start on row C2? And you're going to go C2, H, J, G, so on. Ready? So number two, is ready? Here we go. C2, H, J, G, 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 now, the next one is you actually have to tell me the sounds of each of those letters. So, watch me here. In fact, I can do this one at the beginning here now. Here we go. English spelling chart skills. You can join in with this. Track two. Sounds and syllables. Skill four. Point under each black key spelling and say the sound. C1, B, B, K, 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 D, D, F, F, G, G, C2, G, 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 you lot were absolutely excellent there. You were absolutely brilliant. Do you know what I loved? When you lot were all doing this, is you were going, mm, mm. each one you're going, je. And you almost sort of moved your body forward as you're doing it. was great to watch. Does everybody understand that track? Yeah. Like the next track, the next part of that track does this. This time, you have to tell me C1, but only give me the sound of the box. So watch, I'm going to do it first. C1. B. K. Ch. D. F. G. Ready? Here we go. C. Do you have to say C1 as well? C1. B. Stop there. What would you do next? But then it would be brave to tell me by themselves what do you think the CD is going to say you have to do next. Can you don't have to go? Um, 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 Stop there. Brilliant. Well done. I want to do is to see if she was going to remember to say C2. So it says C2. J. And very good articulation there as well. Does everybody understand that? Yes. Yes. When you, you're year threes next year, aren't you? Yeah. I, I like that. You may use this to do your practices and so on, but then this would be the chart that you'd use because it'll be handy on your desk, at least one of these on the desk so that you could use as a, a reference, you think? But you'd be able to do these skills because, the, did you hear it said on the CD then, it said sounds and syllables. Well, you've already done that to the next skill. Can you do it here? Clap your hands for every red key spelling. Do it here, ready, here we go. Uh, oh, sorry, see, see one first. C1, I'm going to see if you remember to say C2, C3, C4. Yes. Why you cut your hands once? Because each of those red spellings there is an English vowel. Oxy Park. How many times do you think you're going to clap your hands for Oxley? Um. Oxley. Twice. Why? Because you have the vowel sound O and E. How many times do you think you'll clap your hands for Park? Once. 
ones. Why? Because there's only the eight in the back. There's only one vowel sound. What's the vowel sound in the middle of park? What's the vowel sound? A. There's a letter A, but what's the vowel sound in park? Right at the back there. R. R. And which letters do we use for the sound R in park? Which letters? A R good. Does anybody know what the fast word is for the A R making the sound R? And I'll give you a clue, it's in row V1. Carl's the correct answer. Consonant blends okay. and rhymes. Skill seven. Say each keyword that has a consonant blend and say the sounds together. C1. School. Sk. Queen. Qu. C2. Hand. Nd. Giant. Nt. Bridge. Brr. Ink. Nk. I have to say, I don't know if the teachers could hear you, but I thought that was a really good effort from you all there. It was a little bit quick, and that's why I want you to practice this. But did anybody notice underneath all those that had a consonant blend? Did you see what there was? They're blue dots, that's right. And you can have two blue dots or three, and each one represents a sound. And if I just say to your teachers, it is explained on the back here, a consonant blend is two or three consonant sounds set together, and it's ones with the blue dots. I'm running out of time because I've actually got to be in one of those prize givings in a minute. But can I say that that's what I want you to practice. Um, if you look at, for example, let's go to uh, the foul row one, row V1. Which word do you think is going to be the first one with a consonant blend when you say two or three consonant sounds together? Which word? Which word do you think is that? Ant. And what's the consonant blend in ant? Ant. It's an articulation. Ant. Would anyone like to tell me what the next word is? Don't forget, you can look along and see if there's any blue dots. Which word? Snail. What's the consonant blend that starts snail? Sn. Good. Say sn, everyone. Okay, can I just say to the teachers, so basically the programme's be saying, this is a chart, these are the landmarks, here's the names of letters, why have we got B, double B, because they make these different sounds. You need to know the essence of the class chart is what is the sound of these boxes. But then we're actually saying is, yes, but we've been clapping our hands in our clap and rap because there's a vowel sound in it, there's a syllable. And we've been looking at a syllable now, we're saying a syllable can have consonant blends in them, but they can also have what's called a rhyme. Now this is the bit I'm really looking forward to seeing if you can do. And I'm literally running out of time. In a rhyme is, in fact, watch me first of all, a rhyme is the vowel sound and what follows it. So can you all see the word bird? The vowel sound is er and what follows it is der. Say bird, erd. Bird, erd. I bet you can't say rabbit, a, it. Rabbit, ah, it. What are you going to say next? Go on, tell me everyone. Ah, ah, ah. Great. Now watch out because there's two red spellings, two vowel sounds in kitten, so you'll have to give me two. So this one is kitten, it, un. Can you say that? It, it, un. What's the next word? Go on, tell me everyone. What's the next word? Duck. 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 What's the rhyme in duck? The vowel sound and what follows it? Ah, uh, uh, what's the next word? Ooh. What's the rhyme? Ooh. In queen, what's the rhyme? E. Good. In the word chair, what's the chair? Yeah. In sky television. And in this gorgeous sky out here, what is the rhyme in the sky? Rhyme, well done. Everyone happy so far? Yeah. Do you think you might be able to listen to that CD and practice it? Yeah. 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 Happy? Yeah. Some of you may want to, if you look back at these keywords here, is to use these words here because they're a bit bigger. You with me? Bird and rabbit and cat when you're practicing your rhyme. Bird, bird, and so on. Okay, and the last bit here is there's two tracks, and I've just played the beginning of them for you. This will be track four. Skill nine. Say each keyword and point under all the spellings and say the sounds. C1. Bird. B, er, d. Rabbit, r a b it. Cat, k a t. Kitten, k it a n. Duck, d a k. School. Anyone know what it is for school? 
Tell me, everyone. <laughs> and you can use this. These are quite small. And I'll be, if any of you are able to come in September and I said I can use these ones, I'll be very impressed. But you might want to use these ones here. So when you were doing cat, you can be going cat at. Does everyone understand? And the last track on this bit for you is this bit. English spelling chart skills. Track five. Keyword letters. Skill 10. Say each keyword and point under each letter and name it. C1. Bird. B-I-R-D. Rabbit. R-A-B-B-I-T. Cat. C-A-T. Kitten. K-I-T-T-E-N. You lot are Duck. really, really quick at picking things up. And this is the final thing. I'm just doing this track just for the teacher's benefit. Now, the rest of the tracks on here, 6, 7, 8, and 9, are actually to explain to the teachers what this is all about. And if any of you can try and listen to it, I'll be interested to see if you can understand it. But here's the beginning of the next track. Just listen to this. English spelling chart skills. Track 6. What skills 1 to 5 teach us? Please refer to the spelling chart as you listen to this track. Skill 1. Point under each lowercase letter and name it. A, B, C, D, and so on. This teaches us that the 26 lowercase letters are the main letters, and each letter has a name. Skill 2. Point under each capital letter and name it. A, B, C, D and so on. This teaches us that each lowercase letter has a capital version, which has the same name. Skill 3. Point under each black key spelling and name the letters B, double B, C, K, and so on. This teaches us that a key spelling can have one, two, or three letters to represent a sound. A key spelling can be a one-to-one -one 2 to 1, 2 to 1 but split, or 3 to 1. In row C2, in sandbox 8, the blue J in jam is a consonant. Okay, you've got the idea. And so, did, did you understand what I was saying there? Yeah. Well, yeah. Just it. And I'd be interested to see if any of you can make any sense of that. So, um, this is the challenge. Are you up for the challenge? Yeah. So, what we're going to give you is that book to take home, and at the end of the day, your teacher will give you. This chart as well, but this is exactly the same as this one, with me. But some of you may want to use this one instead as a practice. But I'm saying to the teachers, that's eventually the one that would be used throughout the school. What I'm trying to see here is, and I have to say I've been really impressed, not only you just sitting here and listening and joining in, but how quickly the children, I know they're obviously Parkers, and I know you're Thrassers, but how quickly you started picking up what I was asking you to do. Um, and But then you can listen to it on the CD and see if you can work out what it is. And then when I see you in September, after you've been back to school for a few weeks, in your year three class, is you can tell me this bit was hard, or this bit was easy, or I used this bit to use this bit, you with me? And even, if some of you could say, actually I listened to those bits with the teachers, and I did understand some of it, or I didn't understand this. Does that make sense? Yeah. Are you willing to help? Because yeah. then when, what you say to me will influence what I do with the children and adults in other countries. Well, well I'm saying just other countries, it's other children in this country as well. Okay, any questions from you? Yeah, at the back there are questions that are, um, explain each of the, um, the words. So, for example, it's got there bird, an animal with wings and feathers that flies. You don't have to over worry about that, but can anyone read that? Can you read what it says for number two, by the way? Go on, then. Go on, see if any of you. Can you read what it says, an animal with... An animal with wings and feathers that flies. Right, what's the next one? Okay, can we read number one and tell me the answer? An animal with wings and feathers that flies. What's the answer? Okay, next one. An animal with long ears that pops. What's the answer? Okay, and then what would the next one be? An animal with four legs that says. Yeah, and yeah. So you're going to go through bird, rabbit, cat, and tell me. But are you able to read those? Some of you seem to be able to, to read them. What I'm going to see is whether you think those letters are too small to read or whether you can read them. Does everybody understand? Yeah. Right, I'd better get cracking because I'm going to be downstairs now with the uh, prize giving.